Well, we're at Countryside RV and we're just about to leave. I'm warming peaches up. I've checked all the tires, I've checked all the fluids. Although, I got a bit of a sewage leak. And I'm not too freaking happy about it. I mean, come on. The dog is crazy because we didn't go for a walk or nothing. So I'm getting a late start this morning. It's after 10 o'clock. But as long as I make it to Great Falls, I'm good. Great Falls is my goal today. And then the border and then home. It got really cold here last night. I had to break out my second heater. <laughs> so I think I'll fill up, I'll fill the tank at Dillon and then we're good until Helena at least, I would think. Beautiful country. Montana reminds me more of my home. And there's hardly any snow here, which is nice. So I, yeah, I'm getting a, kind of a real late start today, but ugh. and I'm on the road. I got gas at Dillon. I've checked everything at the campsite, so. But I had a little thing happen on the highway, and I don't know how it happened, but uh, somehow the gear slipped out. Now, I don't remember touching it or, you know, anything like that, but it scared the hell out of me. You know, the closer to Canada I get, the safer I'm gonna feel because if I'm in Canada, it's easy for me to get help. <laughs> Whereas in the States, it's not so easy. What's this on the road? I don't want to run it over. Okay. We're here in Butte. I got gas. I want to check my transmission fluid again. But uh, yeah. I'm going to have to fix my sewer, <laughs> but it's going to have to wait till I get home because I'm not screwing around. After this, it's Helena and uh, Great Falls. It's actually pretty nice out. It was really cold there at Dillon, but it's gotten nicer out. So we're just taking a break. Let the dog roam a little bit. Okay, I know when I came down this way, I said I didn't want to come back this way because basically coming out of Butte to St. Helena is all uphill. Okay, now I'm reaching a plateau here, but it's <laughs> it's pretty uh, it's pretty steep. But we'll get to Helena. It's 63 miles, so we'll get to Helena where I'll fill up with gas again. Uh, check my fluid, my transmission fluid, and. Uh, Try and get to Great Falls before the sun goes down. 
it's actually really nice out. Oh, the Continental Divide. That's why it's all uphill. Whoa! I like Montana. Montana's my kind of state, except for the snow. to come to IHOP and have lunch because I need a good lunch just after one I'm hoping to make Great Falls by four or five this afternoon hopefully I gotta get gas here check my transmission fluid try and give the dog a break we'll see all right, so in Helena, I found a full service gas station and they checked everything. From my tires, my windows, they did my windows, they checked all my fluids. I am good to go and I am happy because it's always nice to have a second person check, especially that transmission fluid because it can be a bitch to check. So I'm pretty happy about that. If I can find another full service in Great, Great Falls, uh, I'm gonna do it. And I have decided I am going to make it home today. Uh, I'll just travel all night because the border is only three hours from Helena. And uh, I want to get home. Uh, I don't want to spend any more money here. I've spent a lot of money in the States. And uh, I just had enough. I want to go home now and I need to relax. My back is hurting really bad. So I took some painkillers. So Great Falls will be my next gas stop. And then home. Okay, so um, did you ever, you know, can, can you imagine you're on a climb? Let's say you're climbing a small mountain. Said the one who left didn't seem interested in deliberating or explaining why she couldn't go for the death penalty. That they felt like the defense put Alexander on trial and that any mental issues they argued Arias had were certainly not mitigating factors, they said. Jessica Fang told the country's 31 Lord his bank can withstand a severe U.S. and global... Well, we're almost at the border, but I thought we'd stop and take a short walk because Miss Tika needs to, to go. She does. We should go get my camera. Let's go get the camera first. Come on. Oh shit, I left my lights on. All right, so I made it to Lethbridge, but I couldn't go no further. So I stayed in the casino parking lot over there. And this morning, I headed it over to Timmy Ho's, Tim Hortons, to have breakfast and a coffee. I miss Tim Hortons, I'll tell ya. 
They're the best coffee ever. So I'm on my way to Fort McLeod. I don't even know what freaking highway I'm on, but it goes to Calgary. And it's supposed to be really nice out today, like up to 13, but the wind is gusting at 70 kilometers an hour. And I almost got blew off the road there in Lethbridge. But I've never been to Leftbridge before, so I can say I've been there. It's not a bad little town. Or, it's not a town, it's a city. I never got to see a whole hell of a lot of it, but that's okay by me. I just kind of want to get on the road and get home, because it's going to take me at least two hours to get to Calgary, and then four hours to get to Edmonton. So we're in Fort McLeod. I'm gonna get gas here, but I'm at Tim Hortons again <laughs> And I'm going to get myself a coffee and I see that the, that RV that passed me is here, too Fuel is 91.9 per liter or 0.91 